Hello everybody, Aura here. Welcome back to another Speedball here on the channel. Today we're doing Single Mom, Rebellious Teenage Daughter. I had so much fun building this build. Uh, the whole storyline and the premise of it uh, is just so, so much fun to me. So uh, it's definitely a vibe build. So you're gonna see it throughout this whole build that is definitely, definitely a storyline that I feel like a lot of us are familiar with. So let's just jump into it here. I'm creating the basic style of the house. It's not a big house. It's actually a, a fairly small house. Um, and there's not a lot of room in it. I needed to have a room dedicated to the teenage daughter, the rebellious child, on the first floor. Um, and I needed her to, to be able to climb down the spandrels at night so she could sneak out of the house. So that's the whole premise of it. So the mum is a single mom. She's working her butt off to try and provide for the family her daughter of course don't care uh, she kind of does her thing and because the mom is working so much she she doesn't really know what her her child is up to so that's the whole story of the build um, I wanted the whole build to definitely have the look and the feel of a house where you could see that the people living there is trying to take care of it as much as possible, but they're just not able to. Um, and, and the whole story behind that is because the daughter simply doesn't care. She doesn't care. She doesn't help. Uh, so the mom is kind of in, in it all alone. Uh, I was trying to figure out the floor plan for this build because, as you can see, there's just not a lot of space here. So there's not a lot of space to work with. Uh, so I, need, I knew I needed to have the staircase kind of... Um, break uh, or, or bend at the middle so we would have more space uh, for you to go upstairs I also I was trying to look for every single item that I could find that was just had it would have that look you know the look where as soon as you, you see me start putting items in you know the look the look where uh, it, it's not dirty but it's not clean it's just kind of that that weird in between and it's a little bit run down but but people still use it and there's kind of a little bit of crap everywhere but it's not so much that it's not livable it's kind of the whole vibe that I was going for again because the mom is just alone in this and the daughter is just not helping she it's a rebellious team she doesn't care she's she's just doing her own thing uh, she's a rocker chick and and it's too cool to help out at home so that is the premise it's the whole premise of the build and I think it turned, turned out so good like when I showed the screenshots to my boyfriend he was like oh, that, that, that looks really good it's definitely the vibe you were going for so I really love it also there's a cat somewhere in this house um, the daughter of course give the cat food uh, empty is it but that's the really the only responsible responsibility she keeps in this house Otherwise, the rest of it falls to the mum. So I thought underneath that whole area where the trash can was, maybe those are some bags full of cat food. Um, and that's where they can store it. And I just started to fill crap into this build. Uh, everything is still usable. Everything is still, your sim can still walk around everywhere, but it's just, I, I, I needed it to fill it with crap. <laughs> I I started so of course there's the uh, the litter box I started to look for very specific items in the clutter section of what can I put in here so it just looks messy um, there was so much fun this was just such a fun build to do I also was like okay so what is really really not cool is having the washer right when you walk into the house that would just be horrible of course there's no dryer so so they have to hang the clothes out for washing uh, after washing so, so it can dry they also sometimes the the washing machine just breaks down so there's a bucket outside where you can wash clothes as well the mom does this when she gets home and when she 
has the time for it. Otherwise, the rebellious rocket chick daughter just kind of reuses some of her old clothes until the mom has time to, to wash the old one. So the only place the mom actually has her own sanctuary where she can uh, control everything is in the bedroom. But the bedroom is super sad. Like, honestly, I kind of felt bad building the bedroom uh, because I was like, it's just, it's super sad looking. But I just needed that for this storyline to work. Um, I also put in this flooring here that I, I cannot remember which pack it came with. I think it was the werewolf one uh, where the flooring is kind of, it's a, it's a bit destroyed and, and the linoleum is kind of, you know, breaking off in places. It just fits. It was just exactly the vibe I was going for. But again, the mom's bedroom here. I tried to find furniture that was kind of old looking um, and had a very this uh, significant style to them so you can kind of see her furniture is kind of more on the older side while the daughter maybe have a bit more of newer furniture still old looking um but there's definitely when we go upstairs the the daughter's bedroom is just again i was going for a vibe here and looking back at it now i kind of feel bad for <laughs> <laughs> for the mom here i'm so sorry but this just i was going for something i think it really really worked out in the end i think it's super cool looking now uh it's definitely the storyline i was going for you can also definitely see what kind of girl is living in this room um but yeah do i feel bad for the mom of course i do but that's just what i was going for the windows here uh by the end of the room is the ones that your sim can actually sneak out of. So I made very sure that those are fully functional and then she can go out to the little deck area and then sneak down the spandrels. That's fully workable. I tested it, everything should work fine. Um, and then it was just about cluttering up the space. So it looks messy and like somebody who doesn't care lives here because um, that is the harsh reality i didn't have that much space left to work with here so there's only one bathroom in the whole house it's the upstairs one here you can see it's definitely also run down it's definitely not good <laughs> um but it works like the whole color scheme the vibe of the house i think it turned out really really good so moving to the outside here, this was just really simple to do. So I needed to create a quote unquote garden area that looked like it wasn't taken care of. So I just needed to find the most scummy of plants. Uh, the trees kind of don't have any leaves on them and kind of half dead as well. Look at this. Doesn't this look horrible in the best way possible? I think the screenshots here speak for themselves. It, it's definitely, I love the way that this build turned out. It's exactly what I wanted, uh, especially with the whole styling and stuff. It's 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 really good to me. I like it. And, and you can also kind of hear from the background music. This is a rocket chick's house. Like this teen is controlling the house. Um, maybe I was a bit inspired by, um, life is strange and, and the way chloe is with her her mom um i know she loves her mom but chloe just acts like she doesn't care that's maybe that's the vibe i was going for here or inspiration now that i'm thinking of it uh that would make a lot of sense but tell me what you think about the builds in the comment section down below i really want to hear it's always nice to hear feedback or just what you thought about the build in general it's also up on the gallery right now if you want to go download it you can you just have to search my gallery id which is aubrey you should be able to find every single bloody damn thing i've done in the sims 4 so there's well over 300 builds in there you can go check out if you want to uh, also hit that like button and the subscribe it really helps me out a great big deal and the notification bell as well guys so you get notified every single time I go live on the channel or upload a new build. It's just for your sake, it also helps me out, but if you wanna stay up to date, that's the best way. 
But let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about the builds. I have nothing else to say other than thank you so much for watching and have a truly fantastic day wherever you are in the world. I hope to see you guys next time for another video here on the channel. Bye.